Hello, this is Rob Attaway, Clark of course for Formula Student, and the second of a trio of driver's briefings for Formula Student uh, 2021. So today, uh, today, this briefing, I'm going to talk specifically about the Saturday Dynamics events, and uh, the, the one that will follow this will be specifically about Sunday's Dynamics event. So Saturday's events is about to come up now. So the first, um, the first Dynamic event on Saturday morning is Acceleration. And there is a sister event happening at the same time between 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock on Saturday morning is the figure of eight. But first, the acceleration. The acceleration is run on the national pitch straight at Silverstone in front of the garages where you are all housed. And you access the acceleration by going through the gate in the centre of the pit lane by the little gantry bridge. And you can see on the screen there that there are three driver's queues. Uh, which when you that's where your that's your um, um, formation uh, for your uh, waiting to go on to the acceleration when you're called forward to go on to the acceleration line uh, you'll go through the gate and turn left as the little arrows are telling us and you will wait there on the start line and wait for the green flag which I shall explain further later in this briefing when you're ready to go, you will go down the, uh, the, the course and there will be, at the end of that, there will be a pair of checkered flags um, in some cones away from the course, which will give you the indication of the finish timeline. When you've passed that, you can do one of two things. Firstly, if you want to re a second run, you can then turn hairpin sharp left and run and drive slowly down, back down the, uh, uh, the, the, the track, close to the pit wall, and then you will then line up again on the acceleration run. When you do this, you may see another car waiting to start. Do not be worried about this because that car will not go, will not start until you are safely behind the car ready to go. So your, your, your second run will go into that, into that uh, behind that car that's just about to go. If you do not want to do a second run at that time, immediately after your first, and or you want to exit, you will still turn left and you will go through the gate at the top of the pit lane, just uh, about the location of where race control is. It doesn't matter if you overrun that gate because there's sufficient room behind, beyond the gate to turn round and come back and go into, go through the, through the exit gate. Once you've driven through that exit gate, you should need to stop out of your car and between the exit and the acceler acceleration queues again, or the pit garages, you should be pushing your car as indeed we, we, uh, sh uh, you were shown on the first briefing notes. Now I've mentioned the time here is between nine o'clock in the morning on, on the Saturday and 12 o'clock on the Saturday. And regardless of how many cars are left to run at 12 o'clock, acceleration finishes at 12 o'clock. The only car that will run is the car that is sitting on the start line ready to go. Uh, providing the course is clear. Nobody else, regardless of whether you're in a queue or not, will go after 12 o'clock. The sister dynamic event at nine o'clock to 12 o'clock on Saturday is the skid pad. Entrance to this is the roadway leading away from the scrutineering bay area where you will, where you, where you would, have, would have been early part of this event. And you go down past the, the fencing, which is housing the fuel and the, um, and the brake test. And you will then turn into, under the uh, uh, control of the officials, into again, one of three queues. 
when it's clear for you to go onto the skid pad, you will enter either a left or a right skid pad. There's not an A or a B or a good one or a bad one. You need to do uh, two runs on each one. So it's two drivers, two runs, and you do that on each of those tests. So you would go on to the test that's, uh, that's, that's available and the marshals and the officials will tell you which one to do. In a similar way to the acceleration, if you want a second run immediately after the first, you just follow uh, around the, uh, the, the, the circles that's laid out the cones and you will go into the start position as you did for your first run. If you do not wish to do a second run immediately after and or you have done two runs and you want to exit, you will exit in the same place that you've gone into that skid pad and you will be working under the direction of the officials and the marshals that are there. Once again, the time is, 12, uh, is 9 o'clock in the morning till 12 o'clock, and at 12 o'clock, the skid pad will close, and the only car that will go on the skid pad will be that car that is immediately ready to go. So whether you're in a queue, whether you're not, there might have been a breakdown causing the time to go beyond 12, so that car will not get a run. So just, re just remember, the only car that will be likely to run is the one ready to go on the line. The sprint. The sprint is part and parcel of the endurance track. And the entrance to this will be at the bottom end of the, or the out end of the pit lane where the, where the gates are. And that's where the queues will be to go onto the, the pit lane uh, exit onto the track and there will you will be called forward when we're ready to receive you on the sprint course for you to go forward to do one lap of the sprint. So uh, the, the, the start will be by a green flag, and I'll explain that in a minute, or, or by red and green lights. So it may be by red and green lights. The finish will be indicated with... Um, with a checkered flag in a cone, on some cones either side of the sprint course. How do I know where to go is the question on the course. Well, the course demarcation is, uh, is indicated by cones. There are yellow cones to the left side and green cones to the right side of the course. And there is an illustration there, a photograph of a car with, we're looking at the front of it. So, to the driver's eye, it's got a yellow cone on the left and a green cone on the right. There is an additional colored cone, which is red. A red cone is, uh, is situated in the center between a green and yellow cones, and it is intended to be a slalom where you zigzag through those cones, those red cones, and the way you go through that is your choice. But when you have walked that course, and there'll be an indication where you can walk the course, um, so you'll see which is the easy way and which is the more difficult way to go through that slalom. When you have finished that, uh, when you finish the course, uh, the acceleration course, sorry, the sprint course, you will come back into the area where you started from and Again, if you want to do a second run immediately, you will be directed round to the start line. If it is your second run finished or you finish totally, you can you then be exit to go back to your pit garage. The flags we use for the sprint are, there are four of them, I think, four from memory, but the, the slides will show me. So the first one is a green flag. You'll be shown this where you're on the start line and it's clear to start your run. It doesn't mean to say you have to go immediately that green flag is shown. It means that the course is clear and you're ready to start your run on the sprint. The alternative to that is that we may use red and green lights. So red is, is not go, green is your red ready for you, you go in your own time. We may use a yellow flag on the course. 
if it's stain if it's stationary there's a danger of something in front of the car in front of you maybe a car that stopped maybe a car that's that spun it may be off, of course uh, but it may be heading towards moving again so it will be stationary so by the time you get there as a competitor it will be the course will be clear if it is waved it means the danger of that car in front of you that's spun or off course it may be a bit more uh, in danger, danger to yourself and therefore please slow down and be ready to take evasive action or indeed stop as necessary the red flag, it does mean immediate stop. So immediately, immediately cease driving at racing speed and slowly uh, continue to the exit and obey my marshal's instructions and be prepared to stop should the track be blocked. Checkered flag. This indicates the end of your run. As I've already said, there'll be a checkered flag in a, in a large cone either side of the finish line. So that would indicate for the sprint where the finish line is. Just want to head back to the yellow and the red flag. I'm, I'm of the belief that we will probably be only running one car at a time on the sprint. So the need for either a yellow or red may not be necessary because if we, if we would have needed a red or a yellow flag, it would be you that would caused it and you're the only one on the course as an individual so therefore we will my marshals will, will guide you to the finish or we'll give you some assistance so that's the end of that briefing for the saturday dynamics events thank you